Hello viewers, oh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, right heart ventriculography. You know? uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And the subscribe button is just below this video in the description. Now, uh, it's a procedure uh, and it tells uh, uh, your doctor to And it, it gives a chance to the doctor to see uh, the right chambers of the heart, you know. And it is used to diagnose the problems with the blood flow in the right side of the heart. And uh, the right side chambers of the heart include the right atrium and the right ventricle, you know. And the blood that uh, has not yet been pumped to the lungs and uh, therefore has no oxygen in it, you know. It's a deoxygenated blood, you know which is rich in carbon dioxide and less oxygen, you know. So, uh, the, it, uh, you know, the weakness in the right atrium and the ventricle uh, can also be seen through the uh, ventriculography, you know. And uh, your heart ventriculography is sometimes also called angiography, you know, or angiogram, you know. So these are the alternative names, you know. And all of these uh, terms refer to the procedure of viewing the arteries in the blood uh, through the X-ray study. Well, the right heart ventriculography is uh, the preferred uh, place to perform it is, is in a hospital setup, you know, and uh, under the local anesthesia. And you will be awake during the procedure, uh, but you will not experience pain. So in most cases, you will be able to go home on the same day uh, as the procedure, you know. And uh, uh, fasting for the six to eight hours before the angiography study is required for the most patients. And let your doctor know if you are taking medications uh, that uh, you must not miss, you know. So you may be allowed to take your medicines with a few sips of water. In that case, you know, if the medicines are very important, you know. And a special fluid called the contrast dye is often used to make uh, the right side of the heart more visible, you know. And uh, one of the ingredients of the dye is iodine, you know. So let your doctor know if you are allergic to the iodine or the shellfish, you know. And you may be more likely to experience an allergic reaction to the contrast dye if you have either of these allergies, you know. And uh, you will be given a sedative medication intravenously uh, to, which will keep you uh, calm, you know. Uh, it will be before, uh, half an hour before the procedure, you know. And the sedative will help you relax uh, and uh, uh, you may become sleepy, you know. And your doctor uh, will use the catheter which will be attached to a tiny camera uh, uh, to thread the catheter into the right atrium, you know. And uh, a castor is inserted into the vein, either in the neck or maybe in the groin, you know. And your doctor will give you a, a like local anesthetic at the point of insertion, you know. And you will feel pressure as the uh, castor moves in and out, you know. Uh, your uh, right arm, uh, sorry, right heart, you know. Uh, but you should not feel any pain. And if you feel any discomfort or pain, tell your doctor, you know, because you will be awake, you know. And your doctor will record the pressure of your heartbeats uh, as the catheter works its way to the right side of the heart, you know. And uh, when the catheter is in place, uh, the doctor will inject the contrast dye into the catheter, you know. And this dye makes the outlines of uh, the right heart easier to see. And the pictures are taken uh, as the dye moves through the heart, you know. And your doctor will uh, record the size and the shape of the uh, right atrium and the ventricle during the procedure, you know, and the castor is removed and the stitches uh, are generally not required. And uh, your doctor will put a little bit of pressure on the site of the that puncture, you know, and then put a bandage on it to stop the bleeding, you know. And the right heart ventriculography is uh, it can be slow, it be it be uh, a painstaking process, you know, and testing may not. Uh, uh, take several hours to uh, make sure the accurate assessment is made, you know. Okay. 
Uh, now the next thing is about the risk. Uh, uh, any risks, you know. Well, discuss the risk associated with the right atrial micrography before scheduling the procedure and uh, talk to your doctor, you know. Uh, in general, the benefits of the test uh, overweigh the risks, you know, so it means that there are more benefits if compared to the risks, you know. And uh, a variety of the heart conditions uh, can result in angiogram studies, including like uh, uh, heart arrhythmias, maybe the heart attack, fluid accumulation between the heart and its uh, outer covering, you know. And any type of the invasive procedure carries the risks, you know, of the bleeding and infection. So the same with this procedure, you know. Uh, but you can reduce these risks by telling your doctor if you are taking any blood thinning medications or uh, and by keeping the castor insertion site clean and dry, you know. And the allergic reaction to the contrast dye uh, material is another risk, you know. Uh, and you may feel warm and may be flushed when the dye is injected, you know. And itching and swelling and breathing difficulties may also be uh, indicate uh, adverse reactions to the contrast dye. So, Contact your doctor if you experience these symptoms, you know. Uh, your doctor will discuss the results of uh, your right ventricular, uh, vent, uh, ventriculography with you and the results should possibly show like uh, any weakening of the right side of the heart, any abnormal connect, uh, connecting points between the two sides of the heart like valves, you know. Abnormal pressure in the right atrium and the ventricle and the treatment will depend on the findings you know okay thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you and goodbye